Okay, so uh, let's take a look here. We have items for the menu that we only want available for certain days and times. We want the small plates, large plates, only available from 2 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. How do we set up specific menu settings? Okay, as of um, October, what's today's date? October 9th, 2018. Uh, this is the way you can do this. So here's what you would do. So for example, I'm gonna use your um, information here. I'm oh, sorry, actually the whole thing here. I'm just gonna copy and paste this. Okay, so so let's say, uh, I'm gonna give you an example. This is your web, this is your online order page. Let me refresh it, because I actually put lunch at the very top. Okay, so we have lunch, dozens, bagel, and let's say lunch is only available uh, on those days you mentioned. So what you would do, um, if it's the whole category, then then what you can do is you can just change the lunch name. So this is the way you can do it as of now. So press the edit button here. And then um, I'm gonna, gonna paste what I just wrote earlier. Okay, available Tuesday to Saturday. Remember, this, is, this doesn't prevent them from ordering it, but it tells them, um, that they can't order it so i mean it tells them that it's only available this time so lunch available from 2 p.m to 7 p.m tuesday through saturday and then press this button here okay and you can do that for any category like let's say donuts only available in the mornings i can say uh donuts um 6 a.m to 9 a.m I, I can just write that or i can say available from 6 a.m to 9 a.m something like that you can write whatever you want so so what you would do then is you refresh the page. And then once it loads, it'll say lunch available from 2 p.m. to 7 15, 15 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. Okay, let me make that wider here. Available, uh, let me actually shorten that a little bit. It's kind of long. Where's my lunch here? I'm gonna press edit. I don't need to put two because it's pretty. It's um, available 2 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. And let me move the dot here. Okay. So now I'm going to go ahead and refresh the page again. That way I can make it fit on two lines instead of three lines. Okay, see, that looks much better. Lunch available 2 p.m. to 7.15 p.m. Tuesday through Saturday. So me as a customer, when I come in order, I, I know right away that it's only available uh, this time. Again, it doesn't prevent them from ordering it, but it gives them a heads up. It lets them know, hey, um, it's only available in these hours. And again, remember I did the donuts too. Let's see where the donuts is. Donut, donut, right here. Donut, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. If, for example, let's say only, um, let's say under the lunch, it's not the entire category that's available from this time. Let's say it's only, um, it's only a specific item. So I'm going to go under... Let's say only the bagel with butter is available at a specific time. So you can just make the changes on that. Remember, you can only change the category names. You can't change the item names. To change the item name, you have to do it from your Clover POS. But you can add a description to it. So what was it called? Bagel with something. What was it called? Bagel with butter. Okay. So I'm going to go to bagel with butter. Uh, add, add a description. I'm going to say... Um, to 17 p.m. comes with um, cream cheese or something like that. Remember, you can add a description to it. So this works on an individual level. Um, and the way I did it earlier, I did it on the, the entire category. So you can just write the same thing on each item name to remind them again, or you can write it individually to each, uh, or you can write it um, for the entire category. So let's go ahead and refresh the page here. Uh, see, 2 p.m., 17 p.m., Tuesday, Saturday, comes with cream cheese. Okay, and that's how you can do that to uh, let your customers know that certain menu items are only available at those specific times. Okay, so when they order it, they'll know this entire category here uh, is only available that time. You don't want to put um, lunch available 2 p.m., 7, 15 p.m., and then over here, say bagels available. Or sorry, um, again, this is a, this is a test uh, menu, so it doesn't have really lunch items in here, but I'm just giving you an idea. So let's say um, this item right here, you don't want to say uh, this one's available from 2 to f 2 to 9 or something like that because you want this uh, to reflect everything in here, okay? But if it's pretty broad, uh, you can say uh, lunch 
uh, only available at specific times. And then over here, mention the specific times, okay? And that's how you can um, let your customers know. Again, it does not prevent them from ordering. For example, right now, let's say it's 10 p.m. I can still order it, okay? It will it will let your customers know that it's only available this time. Uh, so you will get <clears throat> you may get one one customer a week that may not pay attention and order it, <clears throat> but you'll get the the vast majority. Uh, they will they will read this and not order it, okay? So as of October 9, two thousand eighteen, uh, that's the best way to do that. Thank you so much.